Good morning. Today is Tuesday, 11th of August, 2020. Again, um, today is a good day, good day to be in the markets. Uh, if we can try to quickly go and analyze what the markets are looking like. Uh, see, yesterday what we did was to use briefing.com to find trades. So if we could go and do a quick recap to see how that turned out, um, see if anything has reached uh the zones of entry that we had set uh the alerts that i put out to see if i could enter at that um so let's see there was fedex uh fedex was asking this was on the side of was meant to be a shorting opportunity so let's see how that turned out if we hit the nail on the head or not clearly we didn't uh because the market did go through it yesterday and today it has opened right above that uh if we went on a weekly chart we could try to understand why it did that uh this is not quite advisable but clearly this was a zone that uh, as looked like it was meant to do more than that but it didn't so there are always losses that's why we have a stop loss um but also what we were doing uh, was looking at shorting in an uptrending market if you can see the the stock was making higher highs and we decided to short at that moment so that's why i was insisting on looking at also the momentum where is it going is it in an upward movement or you know the other way around because going against the trend turns out like this one so the other one was a fiver fiver let's see what fiver turned out to be fiver is equally in an uptrend and it hasn't hit any zones but we set an alert here to be buying rather than do the opposite because it the trend doesn't favor for us to do a short even though they were the suggestions were towards shorting so we will still wait for that to come and when it comes there we'll be ready to ten, put in our um, orders um, Pinterest is equally the same thing it is on an up, upward movement uh, when we take it to the daily but this is also something that hasn't hit yet and it has a big gap here to fill definitely there's some momentum to the upside and it wouldn't be advisable for you to buy sorry to sell at this point because there's no particular entry point that is really clearly demarcated so better off you wait down here to do a buy than do the opposite if you know what i mean uh, okay uh so when we go to those that were being asked us to do a downgrade we have ctva uh, ctva uh, ctva was asking us to do a buy unfortunately we missed entry you s if you could see this was a good opportunity to enter here and those things do happen when you miss entry but it's better off to miss entry than that is another confirmation that the, tr the the zone was good the opportunity was there you just missed it by a few uh, cents or something so probably the reason was because we didn't maximize uh, this zone entirely in its entirety so we were just uh, supposed to adjust it a little bit but that means you're increasing on your risk too so that's how it went south sideways on us but not to wither we can always just leave it there and wait you always have to wait for price to come to you for your initial plans the ones you set out to do at first is where you have to stick so we will still wait there and see if it wicks into our zone and then goes in the direction that we want this was gsx gsx hasn't done uh, hasn't reached the zone yet clearly there's still some a uh, few uh dollars to move like four dollars and something cents to move down to our zone so kmt this is something you have if you set out these trades you have to keep checking on them and see if they're getting to your zones if this we folk uh 
Kenna Metal, we disregarded this because of the choppiness and it hasn't really shown which side it is going. It has been in this sideways ranging momentum. So uh, this is not something I would waste my time on. Uh, there's so much fish in this sea. Uh, KTWO, QTWO has hit the zone. Can you imagine that? It did come into the zone, but it's still in that zone. So this is a good trade that we could do a buy here now, a stop order to as price goes out, we'll do a confirmation order. As price comes out of this zone, it would move to the upside with us. It is clearly showing signs of an uptrend. There's making higher highs and higher lows and joining this wave upwards is reasonable at this point so uh, one of them did work out so the others are just not yet there so we'll leave it at that so today we'll do the same thing again go to briefing.com um, to the bagger here calendars upgrades and downgrades remember same thing I said upgrades you do the opposite they're asking you to move price upwards wait for it for an shorting opportunity if they're asking for downgrades wait at a demand zone and then ride the wave upwards if if the trend is in that favor being a trend trender i will a trend tread <coughs> try saying that multiple times if you're trying to tread with the trend you have to pay attention to where the trend is going because you want to ride the wave towards that so there's a bunch of um a bunch of brokerages here but i like to choose those that are most common to my eyes we have morgan stanley um, and they're suggesting s h s b c we literally just need like one or two um companies uh, that are good so we can always choose a few there's wells fargo uh suggesting ogs uh, there's wells fargo suggesting p and m there's uh wells fargo again uh giving us t g n a wells fargo is doing pretty good um okay if we can get to let's see the other one this was the up upgrades so when we go to the downgrades we have um to do to do to do morgan stanley giving e r j and then we've got raymond jones rbc capital craig helium hmm let's see more wells fargo n e p uh dutch 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 bank p a a s i also look at the companies that they're suggesting not only the brokerage but the company because we want to trade with what well, the reason for being picky and choosy about the brokerages is purposes of liquidity we want to get into stocks that have multiple liquidity and that is to be backed by the number of clients that a different brokerage company has sjw we have that sjw and then we'll take this zinga z n g a okay let's go to the charts and see what that is representing um it's looking like um Okay, well if we start with the downgrades, the downgrades are pushing price downwards and that means it's pushing it to a demand zone, creating an opportunity for you to buy. So ERJ, let's see what they're saying. ERJ is on a downtrend and it's costing $5. I don't like stocks that are below twenty dollars i really don't trust them that much because they don't have proper liquidity and they're choppy look at the candles they don't have proper move like 
the movement is not enough like for me to be can you imagine somebody spent all these days in a stock and they don't have any movement that is substantial for you to be able to let me see this is six dollars and this is five dollars it has been ranging in a one dollar you know one dollar price range and this is for almost a month of something so that doesn't work for me i would rather skip on that e n e p let's see what this is doing here okay clearly i was looking at n e p sometime let me clean this chart out n e p these remember are downgrades n e p is looking good because it's showing signs of uptrend downgrades means a downgrading price to a demand zone and what we want to do is to wait at a demand zone to be able to buy i see a nice one right down here and this is on a daily we want to always go down on a smaller time frame and confirm that this zone is being uh, supported even on a lower time frame and clearly that is shown here there's that um, if we go down to a one hour uh, we are still being shown that but also the other thing when it comes to trend trading while we are waiting for price to come to our zone we don't want it to come while breaking the trend because if it came and by the time it reached to this zone it is turned into a downtrend then that is not even uh close to what we want because we want it to stay in an uptrend because that gives us a probability of it bouncing back and moving even higher okay so the other one so i will put an alert here to see if price will come here anytime at or below okay so if you can see this zone has been held pretty well both on actually on three time frames there's the hourly there's the four hour and the daily it is the same zone so that is good you like that you want to be in such a position because it offers a good probabilities so we have pas again this is on the buying side and look at it it just got right into a zone here see that that's a good zone that's a beautiful beautiful zone that you like to take advantage of these zones are sometimes if you could see a price was going has been coming high making high highs and higher lows and at this point it has gapped down here and this is nine this is the first 30 minutes of the trading day and it has really just slammed out of it um i like to do these a little bit before but i'm still working out my schedule before the market opens these are good opportunities to take advantage of and the exit point would be around here and that's uh three let me see around here so 33 minus 38 that gives you like a five dollar move and that's a good that's a good day's job even for a week if you can mix a little bit here and a little bit there you're doing pretty good you're doing pretty good the point is to be consistent and to be to have the eye train your eye to be able to see that uh, there's another one here that is looking pretty good it has created this was in a sideways range for uh, some good time but it has broken out um, I think it broke out last week on Friday so there's that and the way it went out that big slam out always comes back in the same way it went out that's the thing I love about this one these candlesticks that just shoot out they always return in the same movement so this is a good one so you can take advantage of that um wait for it to buy in here so i've put it if you go on the other side when it comes to the shorting opportunities there was tng tgna uh okay 
this is supposed to be the downgrade I see this bit uh, some sideways movement here it's not pretty good it's not the sexiest that I could go for so let's look at another one um the other one is looking uh, kind of sort of same thing the choppiness is there uh, it is in a sideways uh, range if you can look at this I don't like this noise so I always keep on these remember we collected about let me see these were four six and four up there ten stocks to look at we only need one good one or like two so we can always be picky and disregard as many if they do not come to our standards this is equally sideways trend i like when the trend is properly defined hsbc and then i will use those this is a nice downward movement if you can see it you see but the problem with this is there's a lot of skipping there's a lot of gaps it feels like this is jumping competition here like look at these candles every day they are gapping up gapping down and they don't even make proper um uh, the range is not good for the day so uh, i'll skip on that but it does show a good downtrend that would be good for those uh, stocks that were meant to go on the side on the shorting side so it is hopefully it gaps from here it does actually it's working out pretty well it came into this zone which uh, represents the shorting opportunity that's where it is and hopefully it goes down but it doesn't represent it doesn't show so much um, that it's gonna go there anyway that's where I'm gonna wrap it for today uh, let's meet again tomorrow I uh, trade carefully have a stop-loss and see you tomorrow thank you